What is going on my friends? Welcome back to the channel. First off, before anything else, huge thank you to everyone who supported today's, but in this video yesterday's Vossen drop. The amount of support these days on the Vossen brand is absolutely insane. It's literally mind blowing. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I really do not want to put this thing away, but it has to be done. I have not put it away one single time since we pulled it out just because we've been using it like pretty much every single week, but we're all finished up painting STI parts and we won't be painting anything for a while. So I need to somehow figure out how to get this thing into this tiny freaking bag. So enjoy watching me struggle for the next, hopefully less than an hour. I gotta get it done, but I don't wanna get it done. It's gotta be done. I knew it was gonna be hard. Holy shit. I can skip the gym today if I wanted. There's a negative percent or chance that we would get it back in the factory bag. I'll put a photo on the screen of what it looked like or what it came in. Holy shit. This is how she looks now. How do they do that? How do they get it in the stock in the OEM bag? I just put some tie downs on it and I want to call that a day there. It kind of sucks because it, she, she takes a little bit of space, but it's better than nothing. I promise one day I want to have a giant warehouse or shop, whatever you want to call it, garage. And I'm going to have an actual paint booth, a real life paint booth. And it's going to be insane. But for now, this will work. <coughs> and maybe when I get this real paint booth, I'm going to give this one away to one of you guys. All right, we got to put away. Man, I don't know if I'm out of shape or what the hell is going on, but we're gonna move on to some Brembo's for our Subi. So we picked up the original Brembo's for the STI. We have everything, the calipers themselves, which are actually in really like decent, not really good condition, but decent condition. We have rotors, which the dude I got them from said they were just turned. I know there's a little bit of surface rust on them, but today's actually Sunday. So we can't get them turned either way. And then he just put new pads on. These things have so much life left. I was gonna buy new pads and rotors, but then I thought about it. I'm like, why buy new pads and rotors? So we have all the brake stuff laid out here, the four calipers, four rotors, all the pads. We even got brake lines and then the brake pad pins and whatnot. And last but not least, you already know, there is zero percent chance we are putting these on the car black. Black is, uh, it's not poppy enough. So we got some powder from, guess who? Prismatic powders. Oh, this is not the right powder. We have polished aluminum, which is HSS2345, if you want to purchase some of this. So we're gonna be powder coating the calipers, this polished aluminum color, which is gonna, I feel like it's almost gonna be like a chrome. And then on top of that is gonna go Soft candy red. We have never done soft candy red before. We've done some really nice red variants before, but nothing soft candy red. I think soft candy red is gonna be sick. We got a lot of work to do before we get these things powder coated. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead, disassemble these beautiful calipers. I don't have stickers here, unfortunately. I can make some, but I don't have 
I don't have the stickers here. Let me show you guys how to get a caliper disassembled, completely torn down all the way to where we can just dunk it right in the powder coat shipper tank and not worry about ruining any important parts. Step one, we need to pull out the pistons. I put a block of wood in between the, the caliper halves where the rotor would go. We can use a rotor as well if you don't have a, a piece of wood to put in there. And we are gonna blow air into where the brake line bolts on right here. The reason for the block of wood is because if we don't put it in there, it's gonna shoot out one piston and there's four total we need to get out. So we got one completely out. The other three are like halfway out, which we can then just go ahead, grab some pliers and pull them out. But first we need to pull apart the caliper. So there's four 17 mil bolts on the back side of the caliper here. Let's go ahead and pull those four bolts out and that'll separate the two halves. Definitely not a 17. And they are 15. So now we're just gonna grab some pliers. You can go right on the slip. Don't clamp down too hard. These things should come out pretty easy. You may need to grab a little flathead. This seal right here is the dust seal. Kind of pop it out of the caliper like that. And it should come off like that. So now that we have the pistons out, if you look down inside the bore of the caliper, there's two oil seals or fluid seals. Go ahead and pop those guys out. On this caliper here, there's no brake line connecting the two halves. There's a seal right here. I know some have a hard line. This one's got a, a little O-ring. Okay, we have the brake bleeder over here. That's an 11 millimeter. And then on this side, we have just a, a little cap, which is a five, mil, five millimeter Allen. I just stripped out the Allen on that cap. I'm not gonna spend the time to take it out because that's gonna be a lot of extra work. I know it'll be fine if it stays in there. So what that's for actually is if it did have the external brake line that connected the two halves, that's where it'd go in. So all that goes to there is a little hole in there. And if we clean them out good enough, we'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave those in on all the calipers. These two halves are completely bare, ready to go into the powder coat stripper. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the other remaining three calipers. Rears are easier than fronts because the rears only have two pistons, while the fronts have four. About five minutes later, all of this coating will be gone. I don't know what kind of coating was on these calipers, whatever stock. I've never had Brembo coating take so long to strip. They were in there for about 45 minutes and they're still not fully stripped. I'll go ahead and get the rest off in the blaster. But after I neutralized that stripper, went ahead and put them in the oven just to get any sort of fluid off. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and pop them in our sand blaster with some green diamond sand and get them sandblasted and ready for powder coat. 
in the meantime, we have a few things we can do. I already went ahead, got all the pistons cleaned up. Seals are gonna be replaced. We got two brake rotors sandblasted. I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast these two. These are gonna be powder coated black because rust on the hub section is not very cool looking. So let's finish up blasting these two pieces here. We need to do some masking and whatnot as well on the on the calipers, but first we need to let them cool down. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and powder coat the brake rotors. Let's get these things masked up, get the brake where the, the surface where the brake pads ride masked off, and we can go ahead and get these things powder coated black. All right, we got everything set up. Gun we're spraying with is a Redline EZ50. All this guy linked down below, powder in. The hopper is Prismatic Ink Black. It's a very high gloss black and it looks amazing. The second set of rotors are in the oven right now. The first set just came out and this is how beautiful they turned out. Like I said earlier, ink black is a super high gloss black and it looks amazing. 400 degrees at 12 minutes and these guys are all finished up. All right, let's go ahead and get these calipers prepped out for some powder coat. We need to do some masking on the calipers. So let me show you guys what all we have to mask. Where the pistons go, like we did the rears around that whole outer edge. And then I've started masking off where the brake line banjo bolt goes to because I've had issues with it not sealing if there's powder on there on a few sets here and there. So I just started masking it off like that. And then of course we need to plug where the bleeders go and plug the caliper mounting bolt holes as well and they'll be ready for powder coat. So let's go ahead and get these guys masked off and we can start laying down some powder. First two calipers are in the oven. Let me quickly just explain the whole entire process if you haven't seen one of the other powder coating videos. You guys saw what we just did. Strip off the powder coat, sandblast, mask. I then go ahead and either just blow them off with compressed air or spray them off with water. They go directly into the oven for a pre-bake cycle. I do about 20 to 25 minutes at 400 degrees. I pull them out. I've been on a hot coating streak. You can either spray the powder when the part is still hot, which is called hot coating, or you can let it cool down, which is just called cool coating, I don't know. So we're gonna pull the two calipers out. We're gonna spray out the first color, which is the polished aluminum. Then we're gonna put them back in the oven, let this stuff cure. This cures 10 minutes at 375 degrees. Pull the parts back out, spray out the candy red, put them back in the oven, 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Now when you're spraying transparent colors like this, so we have to do this color first 
in order to achieve an actual nice, nice red. If we just sprayed this over the bare aluminum, it would not look good whatsoever. You do need to be a little bit more mindful and careful when spraying transparent colors because if areas of the caliper are thicker on the red and some areas are thin, it'll actually be different colors across the whole caliper. So, or caliper to caliper as well. If we do say the fronts a little bit thicker on the red versus the rears, the fronts will be quite a bit darker of a red. So gotta be mindful there, but let's wait for this pre-bake cycle to be done. We can pull out the first two calipers and get them sprayed out. I hope these guys change color a little bit in the oven and in the cool down stage. It's uh, quite a bit darker than what I'm after, but sometimes things change when you bake them. The first two Brembo's are one minute away from being done. I really hope this color looks better than it did before we put it in the oven. It's still pretty freaking dark. I know a lot of colors change when the cool down as well. I hope this, I hope this lightens up just a little bit. Either that or I put the powder on too thick it's not gonna be a bad look. I guess we'll we'll see. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call it a bad look yet. It's just not exactly what I wanted yet. It's definitely a a nice candy red. Under light, it looks insane. It's freaking perfect. But when you take the light away, it's pretty dark. I'm gonna let them cool down and see how they change. We have a little bit of downtime right now in between calipers, so we have some hardwood over here that's a little bit crusty. All of this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and slap it in the sandblaster and I'm gonna use glass bead and really shine this stuff back up to how it should look. So by no means is it a bad color. It's a very, very, very beautiful color. It is darker than I thought it would be like without light, with light, she brightens up a lot. I'll kind of show you guys what I was, what I had in mind when I, when I decided to do red. You see the wheels down there? Those are the old Evo 10 wheels. And I think that's lollipop red. And this is the cherry or the uh, candy red. Those are definitely a little bit lighter. Granted they are dirty, but honestly, these look identical to Bobby's brakes. And I don't know what color we did on her brakes, but they look very, very similar. It may have been candy red on there as well. Let's go ahead and get these guys assembled. All right, assembly is fairly simple. Grab two of the new oil or fluid seals and install them into this groove in the caliper. I'm gonna be using some brake fluid as our lubricant to get the pistons back into the calipers. It's always a little bit tricky or most of the time. Sometimes they slide in like they should, other times you gotta, they fight you a little bit. Gonna grab some pliers, go right on this lip right here where the dust seal, dust seal sits. Kinda spin it. And push it in about that far. When you get it that far, I would highly recommend grabbing one of the dust seals and getting the dust seal on before you get the piston all the way back in the caliper. Makes life a little bit easier. From here, push it in like that. Press that dust seal all the way down, and this half of the caliper is done. Very important, if you miss this little o-ring that goes right here in between the halves, you will have a leak. Make sure that guy goes back in. To be completely honest, I don't know the torque spec, and I never have on any brake caliper I've assembled for the two halves. What I do is after we get these things on the car, I'll reach back there with Allen socket on a ratchet, and Get them pretty tight. First caliper is done. I'm gonna go ahead and slap in the pads and we can move on to the next one.
All right, let's move on to getting the calipers and rotors on to the STI. Currently, we're running WRX brakes. That's what came on the thing. Who knows why, but it did. Honestly, I think I like it better than I thought I would like it as soon as we got them on the car. It's like a cherry blossom red almost, and it looks freaking sick. I'm excited to slap a wheel on, not only see if they clear the wheels, or the wheels clear the brakes, I should say, but see how they look behind those Cosmos wheels. Sure look pretty damn good. Now that we have the brakes on the car, I do, I like the color a lot more. They're definitely dark, darker than I had imagined, but I don't think it's a bad look at all. I think it looks really, really nice. I believe I have some white and black Brembo stickers here. I know 08 plus STIs are supposed to say STI on the caliper, but I'm gonna put Brembo on it and I think it might look good. The white Brembe stickers are on and they look really, really nice. I'm gonna keep them. I was contemplating doing STI, of course, but now that we have the Brembo on, it's here to stay. Pretty wild what a set of calipers on a car does for it. Complete game changer. You already know, we can't put new calipers, freshly powder coated calipers on a car without ceramic coating them. They're nice and clean, nice and fresh. Quick little wipe down with IPA, some Avalon King ceramic coat, discount code on the screen if you guys wanna use it. It works really, 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 really well. Let's go ahead and get these bad boys coated. We can slop the wheels on, at least one wheel on, because we still gotta bleed them later on down the road. Probably after we get a motor in the car would be advisable. But I just wanna see how they look behind the wheel. Oh my gosh. All right, enough crying about the color. That color is straight freaking fire. That looks so good. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. I think they turned out super, super nice at the end of the day. That's exactly what the car needed. Some STI Brembo's back on an STI. Stoked, extremely stoked. Everything we used in today's video will be linked down in the description box below. Powder from Prismatic Powders. Thank you guys for sending it out. The powder coat gun. I think that's about all we used. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace out my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.